What's going on guys? Welcome to day number 16 of the lead gen challenge. And if you're new to the series, what we're doing is going through 30 different industries, building out three different lead generation campaigns. And we're randomly selecting these, doing an over shoulder walkthrough of all of them. So uh, today we'll be doing dentists. So if you're a dentist, please um, take notes. Um, if you have any questions, just IM me or IM me, DM me email me and um, I'll be sure to get back with you within 24 to 48 hours but we're building out three different lead generation campaigns using Facebook one using YouTube and the last one being the stealth method if you don't know what the stealth method is we'll be getting into people's inboxes without them even knowing and without them having even to capture or type in their information to a lead capture landing page completely ethical you see it every day you don't want to miss it and that'll be at the very end but let's go ahead and dive right in to the Facebook ads so here we are back in the Facebook uh, what we're doing is using a lead generation objective because we're able to capture the leads on Facebook's platform as opposed to having a landing page I know a lot of people don't have a landing page so this is a great solution to that problem and um, the great thing is too it's high converting and also too when people actually hit the call action button on the ad it auto populates for them so their name their email and their phone number it does on the fly automatically for them so they don't have to type it in hence the reason why it converts so high so let's go ahead and dive right in and label this dentist lead generation hit continue moving right along so let's pretend that we're aiming um, for the 25 to 35 age group uh, females that are looking for a teeth whitening so let's go ahead and use Dallas like I've been using for the last 16 episodes or 15 episodes of the series and what you can do is auction let's see let's go ahead and zoom in and you can adjust the radius any way you see fit so let's say your practice is over there in this area you can drop a pin around that and then boom there you go you can configure it any way you want to and so 25 to 35 females women uh, we'll leave this broad so keep it open I'm not gonna have any detail targeting on this at all and then uh, Keep it as recommended because I've been getting a cheaper CPC by using this method as opposed to just using the newsfeed option. So let's go ahead and stick with that. And then we'll start with $10 per day. You can you choose five if you want to, but um, I've been getting better results with 10. So um, do as you see fit. And right now it's option four to start running as soon as it gets approved, but you can choose to start and stop as you want to as well. Simply by clicking that and then you just select the day select the time and you're good to go hit continue cool so what you want to do here in this is just use the image that you already have uh, laying around of you and your practice or if you have a video even better uh, that definitely is gonna um, be more engaging that way it's a better connection between you and your audience and your brand as well as a dentist so um, but for this demonstration, we're just going to use a simple whitening image. Or we could choose a picture of someone smiling. That as well, that also helps too. If this thing will hurry up, there it goes. So, what I'll really do is split test one using a before and after picture, and then another one just using the girl smiling just to see which one performs the best. But what we'll do is Use this one right here. If 
it'll let me So you'll say uh, attention Dallas. But also before I get into the ad copy, let's go ahead and check out different other ads that are actually <clears throat> that's actually running very, very well right now. So let's go ahead and choose keywords, ad text, teeth widening. And what this software does, guys, it actually extracts all the Facebook ads that are high performing based on the keyword term that you actually enter in. So let's see. So here's one called Arc Teeth Whitening. 85 likes. In one day, it looks like. That's awesome. Watch on the demonstration. Free teeth whitening for life. Love it. This would definitely get my attention. This is perfect. So let's just go ahead and try to mimic something like this. So let's say free teeth whitening for six months instead. So we're not copying straight up, but um, let's work with this. So that picture of the crew, of the dentist, and that goes back to what I was saying before. If you have a picture of yourself, please use that. That way you get a better feel. Well, the audience gets a better feel of you and your practice and your brand. So, but like I said, in this demo, we're just gonna use a picture of uh, before and after. And let's go back. Let's paste it there. It does here. Yeah. Smile. Need a facelift. Free teeth whitening for six months. Six months. What we're going to do is grab this, put it on the last one because they don't know who you are yet, so. That doctor, I'm just making this up, Dr. Kate's dentistry. We pride ourselves Customers, the brightest smile they ever had. And then social proof, you can either give a testimonial or just give like what your rating is on Google or Yelp. If you don't have one, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, put a testimonial in there if you choose to. And then um, let's get rid of this. this out that was easy for them to read because right now it's a little convoluted we can fix that boom Let's get rid of this looking good we have 25 patients so uh, 
scarcity bias, including that. Sign up, sign up, new form. And this is where the magic happens. So you can label this teeth whitening. That way, just in case you decide to actually have like another form that says extractions, another one that says, um, I don't know, plaque removal, whatever the case may be, cleaning, you know, so um, teeth whitening intro you can choose to bullet point all the things you can do in your practice like i said cleaning extractions whitening whatever the case may be you can list this out and just put bullets instead and then questions email full name contact field phone number you can ask more if you if you want to just to dive deeper um for the more qualified leads and, but just FYI, the more questions you ask, the less, um, the lower the conversion rate. But uh, privacy policy, what I'm gonna do is type in privacy policy here. You're gonna grab your link of your privacy policy, you're gonna paste it here. And then thank you screen, um, say call business. So call now and then type in your number right there. And then again, paste in the, the scarcity, <coughs> excuse me, the scarcity bias of there's only 25 spots, spots left, call immediately, blah, blah, blah. Then once you do that, you'll hit finish. And you're gonna hit confirm in the bottom right, just right here. And then Facebook's gonna review your ad in 24 to 48 hours and you're off to the races, you're good to go. Um, but that is a lead gen for Facebook. So let's go ahead and dive into YouTube. And with YouTube, I wanna show you a method of actually creating a video with uh, no tech skills, no camera, and all you need is images in under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and dive into that real quick. So what you're gonna do is go in the back of Google AdWords. You're gonna select create a campaign without a goals guidance, select video, and then keep it on custom video campaign. You're gonna hit continue. You know, label it the same thing, label whatever you want. See, bidding, good. And then for your whole budget, 100 bucks or whatever it is, you can start and stop as you choose, just like Facebook. Networks, languages, and locations. Go here and type in, or go to English, and then select whatever language, if you're bilingual. Locations, type in wherever you're at. Keep this as is and of course guys this is just the basics there is more detailed stuff you can do to help optimize your ads but this will just get you going in the right direction demographics audiences so we're targeting females in this group right here so uncheck these that doesn't matter unless you want to actually target high income people but um, move right along audience Then you have keywords and topics. So, oral care. Health. on that. 
and then keywords you can just type in keywords um, based on you know what you can do at your practice but just leave it as is placements I uh, leave as is cost <coughs> cost per view 50 cents and right here is this where you want to actually create a YouTube channel and then we're gonna create a video here in a second let's see let's go to PowerPoint all you have to do is have four to five different images paste one on each panel and then write a description on what what that picture is describing so if you have a, a picture of an extraction you can put a picture here and then just write extraction blah 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 then the second one teeth whitening second one cleaning and so on and so on and the last one you should have a call to action of like your name and your um, website and your address and then all you have to do is go to file save as movie and then you're done that's it that's all you have to do <clears throat> so again one picture per panel last one is your call to action file save as movie or export as mp4 depending on what version of PowerPoint that you have and then you'll create a YouTube channel you'll upload that video that you just created with PowerPoint to that YouTube channel and then you'll copy that URL and you're gonna paste it here and then you're gonna paste in your final URL whether that be your website or your landing page and then you'll hit create campaign and then you'll be finished and that's it that's all you have to do now let's stealth method and again, this is how you get in people's inboxes, Gmail inboxes, without them having to opt into anything. And so, let's go ahead and go up here. Hit leave. Keep it as is up here. Display, click that. Gmail, click that. Hit continue. Same thing with locations and languages. How much you want to spend per day, $10 a day, just like Facebook. And sometimes, depending on your industry, it might be higher than this. Because, I mean, if you're in the dental industry, it might be $14 per click. So, just FYI. Moving right along. Keywords, audiences, demographics. So, demographics, again, same thing. Uncheck all these. Click done. Audiences. Yeah, you're not gonna find that in here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is keywords. It's not gonna work in here too, for whatever reason. Google doesn't like it. Um, you just have to basically just do this. You can either use your keyword planner, or you can go to Uber Suggest and then type in teeth whitening or dentist. Or you can just type in keywords. So if you're doing teeth whitening, then all the ones right here in green, you would just select that. Select that, select that, select that. Okay. Hey guys, there's tons of these. But you would just grab all those and then you would just. Hold a second. So yeah, we just type in all these. Next, and then like cavity. Tartar. And just 
keep going down the list of different keywords that you want to target. And then you'll just go to this, Gmail ad. Dr. Kate Dentistry. Six months free whitening description. We have been in business for the past eight years in the DFW area. We have been bringing broader smiles to the area for the past eight years. Call. Then you just put your number here. Finally, your old go here. And then at this point, all you need is two different images, one being your logo, and then another one being like a marketing image, just like an image of like you and your crew, just like we saw here. That could be a marketing image. So going back, upload. So let's just pretend this is your logo, even though it's not. You can hit continue. And then. Whitening. See what we got. Same thing. This could be it too. Marking image. Center it up. Continue. Hit save. Boom. So again, guys, this is gonna inside people's inboxes based on the keywords that they're typing in. And here's your logo, and here's your business name, your headline, and then your description. Once they click that, this shows up. This opens up, you can change the call to action on the button if you choose to. Click more options, call to action, and then call now. And here's the desktop version. If you wanna see this, same thing business, headline, description. So, you know, as you can see, this is really, really gonna be effective for you. Um, just people, it's just like search intent. So, the good version should be higher for you guys. So, I hope this helps. And also guys, one more thing. If you guys need help in the three pack to rank in Google, let me know send me an email or a message and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Um, but other than that, if you made this far in the video and you found it informative, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell while you're at it and stay amazing. Peace.